What up, though? This is Popsicle Man coming to you live with another malt liquor video. I haven't drank one of these in years. So, with that being said, this is going to be a tough one. But, saw your video, Fear. And all those wonderful, delicious 40 ounces of St. Ives. Did hide the gravity. Let's get this shit started, shall we? Cheers. That's really good. That's actually really good. And it's pretty fresh. Um, I saw the date earlier. What is it? Is it on the bottom? I could have swore I saw a date on this earlier. Eh. Oh, there it is. February 13. It's not fresh as fuck, but it's fresh. And it's pretty fresh for St. Ives, considering the last St. Ives that I saw, believe it or not, in Trenton. It expired in 2017, and you couldn't even see through the bottle. So it's actually kind of nice to have a 40 ounce of high gravity malt liquor that's not skunked or expired or bulk. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty damn good. Uh. Now it's a little cold here in Michigan. Uh. Probably about 26, 27 degrees out. But you know what? We've had it made over here uh, in the eastern part of Michigan. The southeastern part. Because we really haven't had snow at all. And it's been raining the past three or four days. And then they're saying something about three or four inches of snow oh, yeah. in a couple of days. And the last time that we had a, a weather storm, some kind of winter storm advisory, we got, I woke up, looked outside, there was a dusting. I could still see the grass. I still saw my car. But it was supposed to be a big storm. That was supposed to lock down the whole state. Now, out there in Buffalo, <clears throat> shout out to Big Rome if you're watching. Um, they get some crazy ass snow out there because that lake effect. That lake effect snow is something else. Sometimes I'll be watching the radar and they just get blanketed with that dark blue fucking stuff on the radar for like hours. The thing about lake effect snow is it doesn't really move. So you know we're we're almost halfway there. Uh, this is going way easier than I thought, folks. I got a forty ounce of King Cobra inside, and the thing about King Cobra is, is there's no real expiration date on it. As far as I know. Now, if you know where to find the expiration date on the King Cobra, tell me in the comments. But, <clears throat> as far back as I can remember, there's no real way to be able to find out what the expiration date is on a King Cobra. But they changed their labels a few times. And 
back when me and Mr. Allen used to make videos, we were drinking that shit when they changed the label. So when they changed the label, we knew that the new labels were fresh. So we drank nothing but King Cobra for almost a year and a half straight. Partially because his gas station only had King Cobra. This is some good shit, though. I remember when I was younger, out of all the malt liquors I used to drink, this was the last one I would drink. And my buddy on the block used to always tell me to get this because it was always the cheapest option and it was always the strongest. You know, and for me... I was more about the taste back then. And back then, I had a more acquired taste for liquor. Nowadays, not so much. I might drink some Baileys every now and then, but I really don't drink that much anymore, folks. But I do from time to time. And I've been pumping out a couple of videos here and there. You know, fuck it. I've been waiting for a good burp. That's all right. Well, we're getting close to the swell. crazy, man, because when I grew up, I was always around people who had 40s in their hands, whether it was Budweiser, Malt Liquor, Miller Lite, whatever. Nowadays, when you have a 40 in your hand, you got people like, wow, is that a 40? Bro, that's old school. It's crazy because I'm only 35. And... It makes me feel old. <laughs> well, we're about at the eight minute mark. Try to keep this under 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Cheers. That was really good. It's funny because even the label's crooked. It's not on straight. It's going up as it goes to the right. <laughs> Anyways, I'm the Popsicle Man coming to you live. Great and subscribe, people. Peace out. You know what I'm saying?